Hey guys, welcome to another day of Mishmas. We are start. Okay, apparently we're starting out with some whining butters. Someone wants to say hi to everyone. Hi YouTube. Oh. Hi YouTube. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Come on, mommy's got to film. Okay. So what I was saying was, we are gonna start this vlog off with some PR packages. I got a whole bunch, and I was about to just dig in, and I was like, let's let's just vlog this. So I'm opening one up from a warehouse. I don't know where this is from. It is quite heavy. Oh, oh wow. Oh my gosh. God, this is heavy. Oh, this is the Bobby Brown Stephanie Gottlieb collaboration. So I don't know if you guys caught my, I think it was like a holiday sparkly look where I talked about um, Bobby Brown's like holiday eyeshadow palettes and stuff. And they had done um, a collaboration with Stephanie Gottlieb and they had sent me those um, caramel hoops, electric hoops, I think they were called. That was the full name. Anyway, it looks like they sent me a few more things from this collab. Wow, it's like a big lacquered box. Holy smokes. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a jewelry box. Wait, let me, let me open it up for you guys. Ooh. How cool. Let me see what this box is in here. So there's the box cover. Oh wow, it's like a little jewelry dish. You know, like to put your rings and stuff. This is so beautiful. And you guys, I was just upstairs, I took um, my old Jo Malone advent calendar from last year, from 2021, I had it sitting over there and I took out all the drawers and was left with these little holes and I started to put my jewelry in there, but the holes are really deep. So it was hard, like once you threw earrings in there, it was like really hard to get them out. And now, and now I have this, oh wow. And then underneath, oh my gosh, underneath we have some of the makeup from that holiday collection. Wow. Oh my goodness. Well, I <laughs> Glad I have a proper jewelry box now. I had one, I don't know where it went, uh, but this is gonna be really helpful. Thank you so, so much, Bobby Brown and Stephanie Gottlieb. It's beautiful. Then I have a box of, it's an alcoholic beverage. I'm guessing it's a wine bottle. I don't know who it's from though. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, this is from Muse Beauty. This is so sweet. Michelle, wishing you a beautiful Christmas. Oh, isn't that so nice? Look at this. Uh, Domain Carneros by Tattinger. It's so pretty. Do you see the reflective bits? And, oh, it looks like it is champagne. This is gorgeous. Wow. Thank you so, so much, Muse Beauty. This is so nice, so, so nice. Next up, I have something from a warehouse. <laughs> it just says warehouse, let's see. Whitaker and Bull. Here's the gift box. So Whitaker and Bull, ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Casey Smith. I think she is the artist that created the vessel. That is so awesome. Wow, let's see what this smells like. Ooh, slightly powdery, slightly fruity, floral. Oh, so nice. And then is like this match holder and these matches came out, this top was off. So what a beautiful set. Thank you so much, Whitaker and Bull and Casey Smith. It's gorgeous. And next up, wow, another really heavy box from, oh, from Credo. Oh. Wow, what's this? Um, Rishi Hot Cacao. It's got 10 servings in here. This is salted caramel. The brand is Bloom. That looks delicious. Oh, a candle, <laughs> it's a candle. Oh my gosh. It's like everyone got the memo that I'm obsessed with candles. So this is from Folane. I believe Folane and Credo uh, just this past year like merged. So this is white tea, lavender, fig leaf, and basil. Ooh, ooh, that smells good. Ooh, look at this vessel. Oh, that smells incredible. Right, and then there is, what's this? Oh, this is what's so heavy. Wander and Ivy, oh my gosh, premium wine. Organic grapes, convenient single serve. Wow, that's so cool. Look at the back. 
Oh, wow. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you so much, Credo Beauty. Oh, I really need my readers. Oh, another warehouse. Thayer's. I've seen this. Where's, where have I seen this? At Target, maybe? Tar oh, actually, it says right on the back. Target, Rite Aid, Walmart, uh, available at your favorite retailers for under $15. Three facial toners. Oh, there's like three different scents. Unscented, rose, and lavender. And then a pH balancing daily cleanser with aloe vera. And then a hydrating milky toner with snow mushroom, hyaluronic acid. How oh, neat. Thank you, Thayers. And then something from Salt, New York. It's so exciting. Hi, Kiki, if you're watching. <laughs> Lip and cheek tint pros. These new shades, wow, she's always coming out with new shades. This one is maple. This is right up my alley. This is persimmon. This is ganache. And then we have mauve. Wow, thank you so, so much, Salt New York. These colors are beautiful. Happy mail, please open carefully. The sweatshirt. So the owner of this store, Tiny Shop, well, she wrote a pretty long personal card, but she owns this uh, store, the Tiny Shop Co. Uh, she makes and sells machine embroidered sweatshirts and hoodies in her spare time in her home studio. And she gave me a code, a discount code for you guys, Michelle12 for 12% off your entire purchase. Oh, and it's in celebration of Mishmas. That is so, so nice. Thank you so much, the tiny shop. This is so cute. Look at this dog mom butters. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Thank you. Those are all of the packages. If you're curious what I am wearing on my face, this is my um, absolute all time favorite luxury makeup, which is going up on Saturday. And this vlog will definitely be going up before then. So keep an eye out for it. So I'm not gonna list the makeup I have down in the description box because I want it to be a surprise. But I love this eyeshadow. I love this eyeshadow so much. Okay, day 23. Let's see, what do we have? It's down here, oops. And the hint is rosy cheeks all round. Ooh, we have the Rose Ink Blush Divine and Heliotrope. Ooh, gorgeous. And 23 for Jo Malone, right up here. Oh, oh, oh my God, look at that. That is amazing. Th this is amazing. I love this. And then for Diptyque, we have so 23 up here. We have a votive and it is, oh, the amber. This is such a beautiful fragrance. Oh, and I'm not always the biggest fan of amber, but their version, Diptyque's version, it's so good because it's, it's spicy. It's really spicy. Mm, I love that. You guys. I mean, this this really could have made Jo Malone the winner this year for like best advent calendar. <laughs> this little snow globe, I love it. Um, and we got the amber uh, votive from Diptyque and the blush divine from Rose Ink in the Space NK box. Good day. Oh, I love this. Good morning, everyone. I left you after that PR unboxing because I hurt my back. <laughs> Um, I, I just, I felt like it was, it was just going to happen. I feel like I hurt my back whenever I get really busy at work, whenever I get really stressed out. I think it's because I'm just sitting for hours and hours, just like editing video or just, you know, on the computer. Um, and I don't take the time to like get up and walk around or stretch or whatever. And yeah, I just, it, I don't even know what I did. I think it, just a normal everyday movement. I think I was just getting up, I think from sitting and I was like, oh my God. There it is again. If you guys have been following me for a while, um, you've heard me hurt my back. It's nothing serious, I wanna say. It's not like a slip disc. It's not like a herniated disc. It literally is just uh, like muscle. I can, f I can feel it and it feels better like when I stretch it out. It feels better um, when I heat it and ice it, like when I go back and forth and then just start heating it. It's, it's, like, a, um, it's like a pull tightness that happens. So anyway. Um, ironically or fortuitously, I have a chiropractor appointment today. So that's what we're going to be doing. It is, uh, in about an hour. So I'm going to leave in about 40 minutes or so. 
Um, and it's so funny because like how often do you actually go to the doctor when you're actually having the ailment? I feel like if I make the appointment by the time the appointment comes, I feel fine already. I was like, wow, this is great timing. So we're gonna be doing that. And also a lot has happened. And I just did the PR unboxing yesterday, but a lot has happened since then. This is completely like unexpected and short notice but I'm actually gonna have family over for Christmas, on Christmas day for lunch. I'm gonna have, wait, let me think, four, five, six, 10, 11. I'm gonna have 11 people over, so 13 people all together. So I think after the chiropractor appointment, I'm optimistic that he's gonna make me feel better. We'll see. Um, but I'm gonna run to Target and get like, you know, holiday themed, plates or something. I don't know. I just, I feel like I need to kind of like spruce up the house a little bit more. We have the tree, we have some stockings, we have like our holiday wreath outside, you know, which you guys saw last year. Um, so <laughs> that's it. So I feel like I need to get maybe some like table. I don't know. I don't know. We're just, we're going to go to Target and see what they have. I think I may also stop by at home or home goods and see what they have also. Um, yeah. That's it. Why is everything always so last minute with me? So that's what we're gonna be doing today is getting ready for Christmas. So, oh, I'm also happy to report this eczema patch has really calmed down. This one is pretty much gone. This one has really calmed down. All I've been doing is a, like slathering La Mer on my face and it's really been helping. Um, that cortisone cream that I got, I mentioned, you know, when this was like, like a, a lot worse. I got that cortisone 10 cream. That didn't do anything. And in fact, I feel like it made this particular patch worse. So I was kind of annoyed at that. Um, went back to my La Mer and that seems to have cured it. But yeah, I'm gonna continue playing it safe. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on because I just feel like I look really, really washed out. So I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on and try and steer clear of any sort of like intense eyeshadow. Hi, Butters. Hi baby, what did you do to this couch cushion? There's a cushion right here. You moved it, didn't you? Is it is it on the floor? Okay, since I've been having good luck with La Mer, I'm gonna try the uh, La Mer Radiant Skin Tint. I'm sure this will not bother my skin, it never has. And this is exactly what I'm looking for today. Just something really creamy. I decided to give my Cure White's Beautiful Tint a break today. <laughs> I really have been wearing it nonstop. Maybe a little bit more. I look healthier already. I'm just gonna throw on some of the Cure White's blush, uh, cream blush in blossoming. Throw some of this up. Maybe I'll throw on some of the bronzer too. Yeah, that'll make me look healthier. Good, and then I'm gonna throw in, where is it? My, here, my Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. Also, I'm just gonna throw in my Sisley, uh, the Fito Lip Twist in number 24. And I'm kind of avoiding eyeshadow, but maybe I should put on a little bit of eyeliner. Yeah, I'm just gonna put on some of this Hourglass Cave eyeliner along my lash line. Have I ever told you guys that in college, pretty much the only makeup I ever wore was blush, which was actually more of like, I wore it like contour and it was a very nude color. And I wore this like matte, dark, dark brown eyeliner. That was it. That was the only makeup I wore. Nothing on my brows, no mascara, no lip stuff. like. Yeah, it was quite the look. Okay, I think I'm gonna forego mascara because I don't wanna have to remove it tonight. This hourglass is gonna be enough and I don't wanna like irritate my eye area too much. So I think I'm good. I think I'm, I think I'm ready for my day. I'm wondering if I need a little bit more blush. No, I always go overboard with blush. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. Let's go to the chiropractor. Well, I just got out of the chiropractor's and he said I was totally out of whack. <laughs> totally out of whack my whole right side he said is is just really really tight and tense um, and I realized between this visit and the last time I saw him 
Um, I went to Morocco, so I told him. He was like, have you been on any flights? I'm like, quite a few. Uh, slept in, not my bed, you know, all those things. And then I said, you know, for the past month, pretty much, I've just been at my desk um, for really long stretches. And I find myself like crunching down on my right side. Anyway, he's like, okay, all those things <laughs> um, are not great. He's like, you have to get up and walk around more, stretch, you know, all those things. So yeah, I just, I have to make, I have, I have to make better habits. I have to create better habits in my life because I can sit at my desk, like all of us, you know, I can sit at my desk for like 10 hours straight where I'm like holding it in, like I'm not even going to the bathroom. It's awful. It's awful. I'm not drinking water during that time. It's really bad. So I need to change that. Oh my God. I'm just, I'm laughing so hard because it's, it's amazing how like these bad habits just really catch up to you, really, really catch up to you. And yeah, I just, I have lots of things to think on and to change. Um, and, and no better time, right? We're at the end of the year. We have the new year to think about. So anyway, okay, let's go to Target. I'm going to be hobbling in Target because he just realigned me. And then, you know, he was doing some work on my back or whatever. And he's like, you're not going to feel better immediately. He's like, but you should start to feel a little bit better, like tomorrow, the next day or whatever. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. At least I'll have a little shopping cart I can lean on. Target than I expected, but I think all of this will go to good use. So I did get some kind of cute little decor pieces. I thought I could put this on the dining table. Um, I got this and two little guys. So I thought I could put that larger one in the middle and then put one of these at either end. I thought those were cute. And then I got a whole bunch of candy to put in like bowls and jars and just kind of set them all around the house. So I got some of these Lindor truffles, some Ghirardelli squares, some more Ghirardelli squares. And then this is the first time I've ever seen this, but I'm sure you guys have seen almond rockas. These are sea salt caramel rockas. I've never seen that before, so I had to get them. And then I've never seen this Kit Kat gingerbread holiday flavor. I was like, let's try those. And then these candy cane Hershey Kisses. So we're gonna set those um, out and about around the house. For the guests, no buddy, this is not for you. Definitely not for you. No chocolate for dummies. And then I had to get a bunch of serving dishware because I just, I don't have that. <laughs> I've never had to entertain a lot of people. This is the first time I've ever lived anywhere where like I actually have space. So like I said, we are gonna have 11 people over, so 13 including us. So, you know, I just ordered actually the holiday, I think it's the holiday feast <laughs> from Whole Foods, which feeds 12 people. Um, but my mom doesn't eat that much. Um, two of the people coming over are younger girls. They don't eat that much. Well, they don't definitely don't eat as much as I do. Um, so I figured that was gonna be enough and I'm sure I'm gonna go to Costco and end up getting some other things like dessert and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I had to get some like serveware. So I got whatever they had of these bowls. I like this beading around the edge. So I think I got three of these. I pretty much just took whatever was on the shelf. Yeah, two, three. 
And then I got four of these smaller serve bowls. I'm so happy. None of these broke on the ride home. <laughs> and then I got a bunch of these platters. I got one, I don't even remember, because again, I just grabbed whatever was on the shelf. Um, oh, just two of these. I think that's plenty. And then I got two of these, because I don't have any of these, and these are really, really handy, especially if you like to serve chips and dips. So I got two of those. And then what else did I get? Oh, I had to get glassware, barware. So I got four of these. These are doubled old fashioned glasses. They're actually, whoa, they're actually crystal, which I was surprised to see at Target. I was like, oh, okay, let's try these. So they are etched, really pretty. So I got four of those and I got eight of these crystal wine glasses. Because I don't drink, I just, I don't know, I've gone through any kind of like barware I ever had. They've either broken or we've lost them in moving or whatever the case is. So I've just never replaced them. And so we have this really weird hodgepodge of like maybe four or five wine glasses. So I thought it was a good idea to take this opportunity and pick some up. Ooh, these are nice. Nice size. Awesome. And then, what's the last? This last bag is like Christmas wrapping and stuff. So I got some wrapping paper. I figured I'd give the guests like a little, a little something, especially the two girls that are coming. So the two girls that are coming are the two daughters of my cousin. What does that make me to them? I think we're cousins once removed, right? Because my grandmother would be their great grandmother. So yeah, I think we're cousins once removed. Anyway, I got some wrapping paper and then I got some gift bags, which always come in handy. So I got this one, how cute. And Christmas tree, some stems, houses, and a wreath. And what else is in here? Oh, of course, some tape, because I don't have any tape. And that is it. That's what I got from Target. And I wanted to go to at home and home goods, but my back is killing me. And it was actually like, this was not a good idea. <laughs> These are really, really heavy. And I was oh, even just picking that one up. I feel, I feel like the, the twinge in my back, um, just like putting them into the cart, then putting them like onto the, the checkout conveyor belt and then putting them on my car and then taking them out of the car. I was like, oh my God. So uh, I am not going anywhere <laughs> for the rest of the day. So I am going to, yeah, put all of this away. I think I'm gonna put all this stuff into the dishwasher, get them clean. And I think that's gonna be the rest of the day, if I can do it. Actually, I may wait for my husband to come home and have him, <laughs> have him do it. Um, because yeah, just picking up like the bigger pieces. Oh, oh is all I have to say. So I'll be back uh, in a little while. I'm just gonna make myself some lunch and just take this opportunity to rest a bit. When I got these two cards, I thought I would give this to um, my cousin's daughters and this is for my husband. <laughs> so I wanted to vlog a little bit more today, but I, I think this is it. Um, tomorrow I have a very special video coming. So keep an eye out for that. And then um, on the 25th, my last day of Mishmas, I, uh, I also have a pretty exciting video for you guys too. So stay tuned for those. And I'm sorry that this is uh, not a great vlog. I actually wanted to squeeze into Mishmas. I wanted to do like my closet tour. And I couldn't, I couldn't swing that because I needed to get drawer organizers. Like I really wanted it to be done for you guys um, before I did like a whole tour. And I wanted to get drawer organizers. I ordered them off of Amazon and the shipping is just delayed, I guess to be expected with the holidays. So those haven't arrived and I'm like, okay, I can't film this closet tour. And then I wanted to film like a caring for your fine knits, your luxury knitwear video. And that's actually kind of, I don't wanna say it's a physical video, but I would be standing up and, you know, moving around and showing you like how I wash knits and stuff. And I can't really do that. <laughs> can't do that right now. So I'm gonna leave those videos for the new year. I apologize. I really wanted to get them done for Mishmas, but stay tuned. They'll be coming in the new year 
2023. Can you guys believe it? Uh, but I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's mistress video. Um, and then definitely on the 25th for another vlog. Bye.